Guys, this is no clickbait. We have literally the first news on the next Battlefield game alongside with the first concept art of the game. And guys, I'm not going to say I'm hyped for this, but the news are truly promising. Like we have really good news for the next Battlefield game. For example, it's going to focus on 64 players now. We are not going to have specialists. It will be modern setting. And more importantly, guys, we are going to have our naval vehicles back. So the news are great. We have an article from IGN that explains everything. And we are going to get to that. We have a concept art as well. The very first concept art of the next Battlefield game. We are going to get into that as well. So we are not going to waste more time. Just keep in mind that if you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. And if you want more news on the next Battlefield game, just subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into things. So you are now looking at the concept art of the next Battlefield game. It appears like we are looking at some city near the beach or some town, something like that. It really looks like Italy, okay? They've been cagey with everything about the location of this concept art. We do know for a fact that it is somewhere in Europe, probably. And my guess is Italy, definitely. You can see the helicopters top left. So the modern setting is basically confirmed this time. So the news were not really planned. Apparently, IGN had an exclusive sit down with Vince Zampella, the head of Response Studio. And this time for real guys, we have some really interesting things and I would say good news. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article. While EA is cagey when it comes to specifics about the concept art, including declining to name of the city where it's set, though it looks a lot like Italy, France or somewhere in Europe. Uh, that's something I thought of as well. It does include details that should stand out to longtime fans of the series. Among other things, it appears to suggest that ship to ship and helicopter combat will be part of the new game. And that it will feature natural disasters like wildfires. Its grayish color scheme is evocative of Battlefield 4, which remains one of the most popular games in the series despite being released a decade ago. So this paragraph is titled as Battlefield Goes Back to Basics. All of it points to a back to basics approach for the next Battlefield. Indeed, head of Respawn and group GM for EA Studios organizations, Winston Bella, is quick to shout out Battlefield 3 and 4 in the course of sitting down with IGN to talk about these new reveals. On the decisions to return to the modern era, Zambella says, quote, I mean, if you look back to the peak or the pinnacle of Battlefield, it's that Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 era where everything was modern. And I think we have to get back to the core of what Battlefield is and do that amazingly well. And then we'll see where it goes from there. But I think for me, it's that peak of Battlefieldness is in the Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 days. So I think it's nostalgic for players, for me, for the teams even. Those are kind of heyday, although I would say 1942 also. So he confirms basically that the the next Battlefield game is going to be set in the modern era. The concept art actually confirms that as well. The return to the modern setting represents a course correction for the series after Battlefield 2042, which eventually found its footing, but was otherwise widely panned for features like specialists, characters that made it seem as if Battlefield was basically trying to be a hero shooter. Its ambitious 128 player maps also proved unpopular with fans who preferred a more focused experience. Battlefield 2042 eventually went back to supporting 64 players, per maps and the next battlefield plans to stick to that approach so now wince is talking about this quote yeah the 128 player did it make it more fun like doing the number for the sake of the number doesn't make any sense we're testing everything around what's the most fun so like you said the maps once they get a certain scale become different it's a different play space and i think you have to design around that so we are designing something that is more akin to previous battlefields that is what zambella says so wince continues I'd rather have nice, dense, really nice, well-designed play spaces. Some of them are really good. I can't wait for you to see some of them. So that is also confirmed that we are going to have the 64 player approach. Now that the next Battlefield game is coming out, that is really good news. I was really not the fan of 128 players. Even the servers were not the big fan. The servers obviously couldn't handle anything above 64 players. The hit registration issues, all of that was a part of the issues that 128 game modes actually brought with themselves and now take a look at this specialists are also out this time around quote so i wasn't there for 2042 i don't know what the rationale was but for me it's like the team tried something new you have to applaud the effort not everybody liked it but you got to try things it didn't work it didn't fit specialists will not be coming back so classes are kind of at the core of battlefield and we're going back to that so with that said even specialists 
will be out of the equation, which is pretty damn good news for the community of Battlefield. I have to be honest. Now let's move on. He's careful to stress that Battlefield 2042 wasn't a failure of a game, despite not doing as well as hope. He notes that the development team quote, really spent a lot of time learning how to adapt it and getting things back. Still, he says EA doesn't want a repeat of the experience it had with 2042, quote, we want it to be good out of the gate. So as you scroll down, there are some interesting things that literally gives us an insight of what's going on right now in DICE and what their approach to the next game is. They are literally just trying to regain trust and take back the community that is now lost. That is the literal approach of DICE right now. It adds up to what one might call classic Battlefield, but bigger, big enough that it merits the efforts of four separate studios in DICE, Motive, Ripple Effects, and Criterion. All right, so now let's move on. Nevertheless, Zampella remains vague on what all of that actually entails. Quote, yeah, it's definitely betting bigger on Battlefield. It's going in and expanding what Battlefield is. We have to have the core. The core Battlefield players know what they want. They've been with us forever. They've been amazing supporters. We need to earn their trust back and get them back on our side. And then it's expanding out and getting more players into the universe and seeing what we can do. So when you want a different experience, you don't have to leave Battlefield. You can experience more things within the Battlefield universe. So we're expanding the offerings that we're giving. Now, this last sentence, expanding the offerings that, that they are trying to give is a bit concerning, but all in all, I do believe the approach this time is at least a solid approach. It's fair to say that they know how they messed things up and they are now trying to make it up for the fans. That's what this sentence is convey, really. They are trying to get the trust back. The trust is lost big time, guys. I know it, you guys know it. Probably people at DICE know it better than anyone, but at least they are trying to do something. And they are literally starting to cut off every bad thing that is a part of the core gameplay in 2042. They are trying to do that. So let's move on and see what the road ahead for Battlefield is. They ask Zambella about the war between Battlefield and Call of Duty. And this is the question, will Battlefield ever outsell Call of Duty? And he says, quote, if you look at the best Battlefields have outsold some Call of Duties and other way around, back and forth. So I think absolutely it can, but there's a very interesting note here uh, from IGN themselves. While sales data is incomplete, the publicly available data for even weaker releases like Infinite Warfare has typically favored Call of Duty, which literally means that Call of Duty has always been selling more than Battlefield, even with the worst releases, which completely makes sense because Call of Duty has a very broader audience. The audience are way more casual. There are so many uh, kids playing Call of Duty. There are so many celebrities playing Call of Duty. They they just don't play Battlefield. And the Battlefield community is just limited. Like, there's no denying that, really. He continues, quote, I mean, is that what we're going for? I mean, not directly, but always. We're not looking to take down Call of Duty. We're making something that's different and we're making something that's us. But yeah, it definitely has the possibility. In my opinion, Battlefield and DICE will never be able to, like, take down Call of Duty, even if they wanted to. That's just something that's not going to happen. And it doesn't matter if they want to or if they don't. It just doesn't matter. It just won't happen. Call of Duty has a very big audience and it will sell the regardless of how crap their release is. Like the Black Ops 6 beta was a complete disaster, but you know, people are going to buy it and there is literally no denying that. It's unclear when the next Battlefield will release, but there are signs that EA is ramping up for 2025, having entered full production earlier this year. According to Zambella, EA is quote, play testing the game every week and plans to launch a community program next year, though it's unclear if it's a closed beta or something else. And now he continues, Quote, we have a program that we're going to announce next year around getting more community in because that's kind of the core of what we have to do. Get the community back on our side, get that trust back. So I think we're in a really good place. Is it challenging? Of course, but it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. Whenever Battlefield eventually releases, it'll be a big test for the series, which has a lot to prove to fans after close to a decade since it's last really successful entry. It'll be entering an unsettled console landscape with Sony announcing the PS5 Pro last week, rumors of the next-gen Xbox and Nintendo, and Zambella basically starts to speak about Nintendo. He speaks about Switch 2, which is an upcoming Nintendo console. He speaks about Sony and uh, Microsoft being very good partners for them and for EA as well. So literally, that's how the sit-down with Wins Zambella comes to an end. Now, to round things up, we have some very important things about the next Battlefield game. And 
and they are literally promising. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of getting hyped for things, but the way they are approaching the game, it appears that at least somehow, to some extent, they know how they messed things up with 2042 and they are trying to make things at least better and they are trying to make it up for the fans that's what they're trying to do so if i want to wrap things up real quick the news about the next battlefield game it's going to be in modern setting we are going to go back to 64 players and i don't think there will be anything with 128 players anymore the specialists are going to be removed completely from the next battlefield game and the classes will return just like we knew it just like every battlefield game should ever be and just like every battlefield game has ever been except for 2042 of course and we have also so naval strike coming back this is not really confirmed but apparently based on the concept art and based on what ign is assuming we do have naval vehicles back in the game because as you can see top left we have three helicopters and we have basically three ships moving to the beach and nobody knows where it is but it appears that it's somewhere like europe my guess is italy but we'll have to wait and see zambella didn't even want it to speak about where the location is they really didn't want to we are going to leave it at that right Right now we have a concept art what we have here is tight buildings wildfire coming to the buildings we have a sea we have naval vehicles and we have helicopters and we do know for a fact that it's going to be in modern settings don't know about you guys but i'm really surprised that this came out of nowhere it was really a shock i was literally going to bed and saw news and literally jumped back behind the pc and started recording this for you and i'm probably going to be editing this for the next two hours so with all the news you've got right now Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the next Battlefield game. In my opinion, this is a very good approach. This is the approach that we needed to get from DICE and from EA. If they are trying to make it up to us, if they are trying to gain the trust back and return to the roots, I'm all in for that. And I hope they do know how to do that. And I hope they don't mess it up like they did. And they really emphasize the fact that they want the next Battlefield game to be good from the get-go they don't want to polish things two years after release they want to literally have a battlefield that is polished on the first day and according to zambella they are play testing the game every single week we do know for a fact that there is a playable version we knew it like six five six months ago so this playable version has been playable for quite some time now and we have to wait and see when this program is going to start they say it's going to be next year so we are not going to get that at least for the next three months with all that said guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and hope it was informative do make sure to go down in the comment section let me know what you think about the news and let me know if you actually trust dice to be able to pull something off this big like they are trying to go back to the roots and what they are planning to do is basically removing some extra things like specialists and 128 player modes and they have the mindset of gaining the, the lost trust back do make sure to let me know what you think about all that and until next time guys stay cool